never thought in my lifetime that I would ever experience a pandemic with the fear that's reverberating throughout the atmosphere. What is that energy doing to the spiritual world? This is unlike any lockdown that we've ever done before. I never thought in my lifetime that I would ever experience a pandemic with the fear that's reverberating throughout the atmosphere. What is that energy doing to the spiritual world? We're not gonna have a crew. It's just the four of us. We're gonna be living on the property in RVs, social distancing from each other, as raw as you can get. Who is here right now? Oh, oh my God, there's some just touched the back. Why are you affecting just the women in here? This is a very special four-part mini-series that will go down in Ghost Adventures history. When Governor Steve Zizulak asked residents to stay home for Nevada, he never specified which home. So on March 30, Zach began to quarantine himself in one of his houses, the former Siren S. Wingard Mansion, very known this day as his haunted museum. Biggins and his co-workers Aaron Goodwin, Billy Tolley, and Jay Wesley spent 10 consecutive days investigating his collections of supernatural parapalnalia and all around weirdness of the four-part miniseries Ghost Adventures Quarantine Thursday night at 9 p.m. June 11 Began says we literally did this all by ourselves the entire productions it is probably the most raw investigation that we've ever done since we did our Ghost Adventures documentary the one from 2004 that launched the franchise and I love it for that fact. As a non-essential business, the museum shut down March 16. The two weeks it sat empty was the longest stretch without a steady flow of visitors since construction began for its 2017 opening. And also he said, just walking back into there, the spirit were hungry. They were used to being kind of fed this energy of people. Those energies started changing, he says, as COVID-19 began sweeping the globe. Began says when this first really broke out, the fear across the whole world was just unprecedented, and I felt that. I wanted to kind of use this moment to see if this global, worldwide fear at this level had any impact on paranormal investigation. There's no way to qualify any effects that general undercurrent of dread may have had. None of the fancy Gizmo Vegans and his crew deploy can measure that, but he says he could sense things were far from normal. Zach Began says there was just something different about these investigations than any of the other ones that we have ever done. It seems like it was just stronger, the energy was stronger. Shortly before the museum's temporary closure, it's scheduled to reopen June 12. Began says there was plenty of unusual activity centered in the room that recreates the office of the late Dr. Jack Kevorkian. The June 11 premiere includes a security footage showing multiple women fainting falling and generally feeling unwell, all in roughly the same spot. One of the first places the investigators headed was that room as well as the adjoining one that contains the Van Kevorkian's used for precision assisted suicide. Here is one of the footage.
deputies right here. As she walks over to my tour guide to tell her that she doesn't feel good, watch what happens to her friend. And get ready to experience an object that contains the energies, spirits of over 100 deaths. We started getting this intelligent communication with what we believed to be a patient that gave us his name. And then Jay looked up the name and it matched to one of the people that died in the van. And it just spiraled into this series of events from visual to scientific documentation to audio. Began says Ripples from their 10 days inside the museum and the four RVs in the parking lot so each of them could sleep and shower while social distancing were felt as far away as the Philippines. That's where Dennis Tavern, Natalie Wood's former yacht captain, was when he says his wardrobe flew across the room. The Vern says, OMG, I know Natalie is doing this. He wrote in an email to Begins. I think she is sensing some kind of energy. That correspondence, Begins says, coincident with this making room for their investigation by moving a mannequin into the museum's yacht room, which holds relics from that boat, the Splendor. I hadn't talked to this guy in years, he says of the burn, who provided those artifacts. He had no idea what we were doing. A 10 days investigation is a particularly long one. Began says he usually needs a day or two to recover after a typical overnight lockdown, but that this one was worth the additional effort. Began says some of the evidence that we ended up capturing was very visual manifestations, different kinds of anomalies, another just weird glowing objects, just things that I've never seen before in this kind of caliber. This kind of quality and quantity of evidence, it was really, really cool. He also says TV shows or not. It was something that I'll remember forever in my paranormal career. Don't forget to watch Ghost Adventures Quarantine Premiere Miniseries this Thursday, June 11, 2020. I am LJ of GAC Sneak Peek. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the bell button to notify you for our next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.